Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to write the behavioral code for 2 is to 1 marks using else if statement. So we can use different types of statements here. So first we will see how can use the else if statement in order to implement the 2 is to 1 marks using the behavioral code. So as you can see uh, here is the diagram for 2 is to 1 marks so which has got um, two inputs D0 and D1 and a select line is there based on the value of select line we will be selecting uh, out of two one will be given to the output so and enable bar here indicates uh, so bubble is present means if the enable bar value is equal to zero then only this mux will be active otherwise it will be in the off state okay so if s value is equal to zero then d naught will be given to the output or else if s value is equal to one at that time d1 will be given to the output so this is how a simple 2 is to 1 marks works so now we will see how i can write the code for this one in the behavioral style that is in vhdl behavioral okay so first we have to define the entity here so that is entity and this uh, name is uh, uh, left to the user so you can give anything so i have given max b2 so max for multiplexer and b2 means it has it is a 2 is to 1 multiplexer and entity max b2 is so entity and e is standard here so we, are, we can change this middle value okay so entity and e should be there then uh, this is the format of defining inputs and outputs here so we have to write the first port and open bracket then what are the inputs for this max d0 is the input so d0 colon in standard logic so in indicates in d naught is acting as an input here okay similarly for d1 we will be writing in standard logic yes again it is an input to in standard logic enable bar it is also an input so i will be writing in standard logic but for why it will be changing because it is a output for this 2 is to 1 max so why i will write out standard logic then close the bracket and put a semicolon over there okay so now i have defined the input and output ports now it's time to write the actual loop here okay so end max b2 so you have started this entity max then you have to end this uh, max b2 so we have defined the max here now architectural behavioral of so this is up to max b2 is standard here so i will just underline this one whatever is standard format so this is standard architectural behavioral of and this name should be same as that of the name which is used in the defining the entity so these two names should be same so as you can see i have written the same thing there so you have to call that mux uh, that is uh, we have defined the entity uh, in the first section then you have to call that entity in the second section so we will write like this then uh, uh, begin this one so for this architecture it will be a begin so for this module i can say this is a begin then uh, we have to write the process there so what process we want to do so this is uh, this is also a standard line so this is a standard so process uh, what are the inputs and output variables yes d0 d1 enable bar so these are the input variables we don't define any output here okay so then for this process we will be having a begin here so begin then uh, the variable that is temp1 we will be using in this one to calculate the intermediate value so define that variable in the process okay so in process we are having a, a way temp1 variable that is also in standard logic all right so what now i will be doing is if uh, take a if statement then if enable bar is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 that is if enable and s both are 0 0 at that time temp should be assigned with d0 that is temp value is equal to d0 means d0 will be given to the output here and if enable bar is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 that is if this is 0 and this is 1 so it will select d0 and it will select d1 so at that time a temp is assigned with d1 okay so as you can see if here we are using if and here we are using else if so if this condition satisfies then it will execute up to this and it will come out of this loop and if this uh, does not satisfy then it will go for the second 
that is if it is not satisfying let me check other statement is satisfying or not so it will uh, come for the else if next okay so if these both two are not satisfying that is if enable bar is not equal to zero at that time else condition will be coming into picture so if this condition satisfy this will execute if it is not satisfying then else will come into picture temp is directly assigned to zero because as i have said only it will be the mux will be working only when enable bar is equal to zero so if this condition is not satisfying it's clearly saying that enable bar is equal to not equal to zero if it is equal to zero then it could have executed these lines so uh, it is not equal to zero that's why it is not executing the so uh, it will assign directly temp equal to zero that means the basically uh, mux is in the off state so at that time output will be zero of course so we have to end this if so we are ending this if here then assign uh, output as the temp so we are calculating in temp and dumping it to the y so we are assigning y with the value of temp so whatever will be the value of temp that will be given to the y and that will be the, our final output so we have started a process here then end that process and we have started module here then end that module so like this we can write the behavioral vhdl code for 2 is to 1 mux using lsip so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel and like the video if you found the video useful thank you thanks for watching